All right, welcome back to Toyota Warriors Post Game Live. Live at, live at the Gatehouse here at Thrive City. And look at this. The two set of Clara boys. That's Brady nice. Pajemski, Jalen Williams swapping jerseys after the game. And what do you know? Santa Clara University turned into a factory. They're Broncos. pumping NBA players left and right. Broncos. Broncos yes, right. in the building. Herb Broncos. Sindek, North Carolina State, Arizona State, and now eight years at Santa Clara University. How's it feel for you to be coach at Santa Clara and to see two young men that you coached up down at Santa Clara yeah. playing in the NBA game here at Chase no, Center? I feel like I died and went to heaven. I'm, <laughs> I'm sitting next to one of my, you know, my, my legends and idol and uh, Chris. And I just got to sit courtside watching Brandon and, and Jalen. Come on now. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good pretty day, cool. right? Coach, Santa Clara's got a rich history. You know, you yep. talk about Kurt Rambis, uh, Steve Nash, and now you've, you've done a great job there. We were just talking off, off camera. The WCC has really come on strong with Gonzaga, yourself, St. Mary's. Uh, talk about the WCC, all basketball conference. Uh, yeah. Talk about because you've been in the ACC, you've been in the Big East, uh, Pac the Pac-12. Talk about the WCC conference. Yeah, I think the WCC continues to rise. Um, tremendous coaching. You really got to be prepared game in and game out. Uh, the teams are talented. I think a lot of credit goes to Gonzaga. Obviously, they have been at a high level for many years, and I think it's really helped raise the standard from top to bottom in the league. And talk about Brandon Pajemski. You know, I mentioned Steve Nash. You know, I played with a guy named Shunis Marshallone. It's a combination of both these guys. Had a great game last time out. Talk about what you see translating from the college game into the NBA. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the best guys I've ever been around, the best guys I've ever coached, they have a great feel for the game. They're smart. And that's Brandon. He knows how to play. He's easy to play together with. And he impacts winning in a variety of ways. Even in the summer when his shot wasn't falling, you know, in Vegas, he was impacting the game with his charges, his rebounds, his assists. And you see it even tonight. You saw it, you know, Tuesday night. Um, he has the ability um, to impact winning. Let me go back to the night he was drafted. What was your immediate reaction when you saw not only where he was drafted, but oh, who drafted man. him? Yeah, huge goosebumps, right? <laughs> you know, um, to be right down the street. And it's great because he's able to jump in a car and come down and, and grab a bite to eat, come to practice, stay connected on campus. And tonight we actually had our entire team, our entire coaching staff here. And uh, so it's wonderful that he was drafted, but to be at home here at Golden State, it doesn't get any better than that. Herb, when he first stepped on campus at Santa Clara, did he have that arrogance, that cockiness, that swagger? We don't usually see that from a 19-year-old. Yeah, you know, in a good way. In a good way. Very in a good, good way. way. You know, when you say that, some people, you know, right. don't take that as a positive. But for, for Brandon to make it in this league, for Brandon to be who he is as a player, he has to have that, and okay. he does. Um, but he also is a great teammate, and – um, he does it in a way that it's, he, he plays it to his advantage, not his disadvantage. How about Jalen Williams? I know um, Oklahoma City of Thunder have so many Williams as we say <laughs> right. the Santa Clara Jalen right, Williams. Right, Talk right. about Jalen. He's off to a great start this year. <laughs> yeah. Really dynamic player. Yeah, he really is. And, uh, you know, he, uh, he grew a little bit. Uh, he stayed the course. Extremely humble young man, tremendous worker, and, and like Brandon, is just easy to play with. Those guys know how to play. Um, they hit the open man, they make open shots, and both guys play on the defensive end of the floor. And uh, so we're obviously very proud and, you know, can't say enough good things about both of those guys. I'm going to guess that players like Brandon and Ryan make your job a little bit easier in terms of recruiting for people like you and Ryan. Yeah, no, I'll tell you what. Um, <laughs> even with the next recruiting cycle on the horizon now that Brandon's doing so well, we're looking forward to that. Obviously, um, you know, it, it's really helping our program grow. Um, so we're looking forward to that. And what, you, what really needs to grow, Coach, I'll say it for you. What's that? The NIL program. Let's yeah, go. right. All these, <laughs> that's great, right. All these guys that's with right. the NBA that's success, right. that's let's right. get the NIL going. That's right. No, we're in a different world. Let's go 1-800-NIL. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Santa Clara's got plenty Santa of money. Clara. That's oh. a beautiful oh. campus, that'll, too. That'll really help recruiting. Bill Duffy on line one. <laughs> 20 yeah, minutes away from right. San Jose. Come on, Herb. That's hey, right. best of luck this year with Thanks. the program. Thanks, go coach. win that West Coast Conference. No, I appreciate you guys having me. Great win last night. Thank you. Two nights ago. Thank you very much.